G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today's video is going to be about the small pouch I use to carry my Spot EPIRV in, or my tracker. I bought a couple of these, but they've got the Valpro on the front. And I was looking at the actual material with the camo goes all the way underneath. So because I'm not actually using the Valpro part, the hook and loop, I decided to take it off on the other one. But doing so, I came up with a few little issues. So let's get the other one out of my pocket now I'll show you. Here's Yes, the camo goes all the way underneath. But when they uh, stitch the hook and loop part on, they stitch, stitched it on at the same time as stitching the whole thing together. So now, so now what I have to do is restitch all this back. So I've just got the camo pattern on the front without. So we'll go over to the sewing machine and we'll have a go at doing that. Okay, first thing to do is to set up the sewing machine. So I'll just follow the instructions. So that has to go in the other way. Around this little bit. And as you can hear the cat in the background asking for more food. And that just goes there, like that. So that's the bobbin put in place. Where's my cover? And let's get the cover on the bobbin. Let's get the thread, which is uh, not far off. It matches some of the colours in the camo, so I'll go with that one. And you'll have to excuse the cat trying to get into the picture. It's just a kitten, so he still wants to be involved in everything we do. Let's follow the instructions on the top. And uh, down, get off, get off. Back up the side. Over. Hey, get off you little pest. Down. That bit. Oh, that's a back. That's it. Fingers crossed it'll work this time. So as you can you just see I've got my L plate still. And couple forward, couple back, and forward again. Back. Let's see what we how we've done. Not too bad, but it nice and level. Let's find my little scissors. I need some tiny scissors. I'm gonna buy myself some decent ones one day. I went and got some price uh, $96 for a decent pair of material scissors. So I'm gonna have to save up for that. So I'll 
I've got small fingers, but look, I struggle to get into them things. And I'll do down this side. Thread the needle. There we go. Grab that down at the knees. Let me put more on it. to hold it there so it doesn't slip as I put the foot back down. Hey, get in there. And what this backward and forward's doing on the stitch is locking it in place so it doesn't come undone. Scissors. One. Two. Clean these bits off. So now that's done. This side's all done. Looks nice and secure. Just the top bit here now, which is going to be difficult because it's got the actual hook of the hook and loop on there. So, again, drop that into place. Over a bit more. for that up there and hold that thread so we don't lose it trim and so the cat's about to argue with the dog oh no he's come here to have a look hey get out of the way hey bloody thing it's a kitten and it thinks it's a bloody lion or a tiger <laughs> actually what it is i think the cat is jealous of the dog and the dog is jealous of the cat and ever either one comes toward me it's like the cat now he likes to nibble me as if to say you're mine oh, bugger. 
Then I'll just trim this. I don't think I've done a bad job actually. It's all level. And it works. So now I've got a pouch without the hook and loop panel on it. So I think my tracker fits in there nice. So now that I can go back on my pack. So I'm actually heading out in well, I'll be three days yet. On, it's Monday now, so I'll be heading out Wednesday, getting dropped off, and I'll be doing four days out bushwalking. So that's going to come in really handy. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have and you're not already a subscriber, please go down below and click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell next to it and click on the like button too. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.